Uh, no, Mom, haven't seen it. All right, so so now I'm going to throw my shield at you, and, and you're going to catch it, okay? Okay, man, let's do it. Billy, what was that? I think we should run now. We are Venom. Look, buddy, I don't care who you are. You're not allowed in the carpool lane as a single driver. Alien symbiote attached to you or not. Aw, oh, jeez. Looks like we got another offender. Hey, you! Pull over! What seems to be the problem, officer? I hate this job. Uh, sir, the Hulk broke through the doors again. Well, well you know what they say. Life, life, uh, finds a way. We know each other. He's a friend from work. Although I've never seen those guys before. Don't worry, Master. I'll get us out of this mess in no time. I have a bad feeling about this. This party's over. Hey, wait a minute. Isn't this more of a Star Wars reference than a Marvel one? Oh sure, now you go for the head. <sighs> you can relate, right? Welcome, Sanos. Son of Elos. Gamora, daughter of... Expecto Patroni! Ah! Scram, you little... God, I hate that kid. Uh, sorry, what do you guys want? I'm looking for the Soul Stone. Ah, oh, yeah. You and everyone else. Nobody ever cares about the Red Skull. I bet he's doing just fine at the top of some mountain in the middle of nowhere. Floating around in some disgusting piece of black fabric looking like Darth Maul's strange cousin who hasn't showered in the past 80 years. And I can't exactly get any service up here either. Not that anyone would return my calls. Oh, and don't even get me started on the weather. Don't mean to interrupt. Uh, is it Red Face? Red Skull. Yeah, whatever. But uh, how exactly do I get the Soul Stone? Ah yes, in order to obtain the stone, you must sacrifice something you love. A soul for a soul. Or something cliche like that. Wow. You know, Red Face. Red Skull! I know we've only met each other a few minutes ago, but I feel we've become great friends. What are you talking about? I barely know you. I'm sorry, noseless one. Hey, don't make fun of me for not having a nose. It's a condition! Hey! Hey, put me down! So do I get the Soul Stone now? Hey buddy, you gonna buy anything or what? No, I just enjoy reloading various guns while listening to gritty action music. Really gets my adrenaline pumping. Gosh, that guy's annoying. Now we gotta clean all this stuff up! Yeah, no kidding. He even took the pens out of all these grenades. Wait, what? Ah, Spider-Man. I've been expecting you. Hey, Kingpin. Looking rather... Looking rather what, Spider-Man? I mean, how exactly do you enter most buildings? Is it like through the garage, or...? I don't appreciate the body shaming that's going on right now, Spider-Man. Oh, it's nothing, Mr. Pin. M maybe just lay off the pasta fazool a bit, you know? Alright, that's enough out of you. Okay, very funny, Spider-Man. You can't get up, can you? Of course I can get up. I was just hoping you'd extend the professional courtesy of helping me. Yeah, I don't think so. See you around, Tubby. <sighs> it's like grade school all over again. Sir, it's your mother on line one. She's recommending a new keto diet. Kill me. Excuse me, I, I can't whistle and I lost my dog. Think you could try and get his attention for me? Of course! <laughs> there you go! Oh, not again. Perhaps it's time for you Avengers to face your true reality. Okay, this is weird. I never knew it was possible for my arm to bend like this. Okay, that's enough of this reality for now. Ah, that's better. Good morning, everybody! Everything sure is awesome today, isn't it? Quill? Is that you? Who's Quill? I'm Emmett Brikowski. Thanos, could you change him back to normal, please? Uh, I'll try. 
Okay, everyone, let's go catch all those dinosaurs, especially that blue velociraptor, which I have an extreme emotional attachment to for some reason. Thanos. I'm sorry, I don't know what's happening. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> it's me, Rex Danger Vest. Now that, that is a man. Okay, you know what, let's just keep this version. Yeah, I'm okay with that. The old one played way too much 80s music for my taste. Alright, if my sources are correct, then the Winter Soldier should be inside this next room. Actually, Cap, considering it's mid-April, I think he goes by the Spring Soldier now. What's that got to do with anything? Well, he's had a bit of a wardrobe change recently. I'm sure it's nothing too noticeable. Uh, I can explain. We've been tracking this guy for weeks now, Spider-Man. Goes by the name of Mysterio. Any ideas on how to catch him? You know, I just might. Hello, sir. What can I do for you today? Hmm, I'd like to buy 16 of your finest fish bowls, please. Stop right there, Mysterio. Spider-Man? How did you find me? Nobody buys fish bowls in such absurd quantities as you, Mysterio. Plus, you're wearing a magenta-colored cape out in public at like 2 in the afternoon, so there's that. Come on, man. You know how easily these things break? You know, one time I sneezed too hard, and the whole thing shattered! I still think I got pieces of glass lodged into my scalp somewhere. Well, you won't have to worry about wearing a crystal ball on your head in jail. <sighs> I hate when he does that. Sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. That guy's single-handedly been keeping us in business. Mr. Venom, sir, will, will there be a word bank? No, Jonathan, there will not be a word bank. And if we catch even one of you cheating, we will eat both of your arms and both of your legs. And then we will eat your face right off your head. You will be this harmless, legless, faceless thing rolling down the street. Like a turd in the wind, Mr. Venom? Yes, Billy, like a turd in the wind. Now have a good lunch, everyone. Uh, Mr. Venom, sir, you wanted to see me? Ah, uh, yes, Thomas. It just so happens that today, you are my lunch. Excuse me. Do you have any quintuple XL hats in stock today? Huh, who's it for? An elephant with a brain tumor? Oh my god! Gee, thanks. Don't spare my feelings or anything. Come with me if you want to live. No! Come with me if you want to live! Yeah, haha, ha, I get it. Cable and Terminator are both time-traveling gruff dudes with robot arms. Hilarious pop culture reference. We can smash cut to the color bars now. Wait! I didn't even get to say all my overused movie quotes. Quick! Go before you can say get to the chopper! GET TO THE chop. That's all it is, Miles. A leap of faith. This just in, local teenage boy hospitalized today after jumping off of a 10-story building. Eyewitness reports say he was imitating the well-known superhero Spider-Man while listening to the song, What's Up, Danger? Well, unfortunately for him, what goes up must come down. Okay, tough crowd. More on this at 11. You want to see me, Charles? I saw a vision of the future, Logan. It involved an anthropomorphic mouse in red shorts kidnapping all the X-Men out of corporate greed. Sounds like a great idea to me! You think that's the same mouse from Professor X's vision? No, I'm sure he was dreaming of a different anthropomorphic mouse wearing red shorts. Oh, thank God. You're as dumb as you look if you think we're coming with you, bub. Huh. It's gonna take more than a few Benjamins to convince me. <laughs> I'd like to reconsider. Welcome, everyone, to this week's gathering of the People's Organization Placating Struggling Henchmen Under Villains Inciting Terror, also known as Pop Shove It. I think you want Conference Hall B. Oh, right on. Let's kick things off by welcoming back Frank, who just got out of the hospital. The floor is yours, Frank. Yeah, so, three weeks ago, I was working on the construction of Red Skull's Mega Death Ray when Captain America dropped me out of a glass elevator. Completely shattered my pelvis, and both femurs! The doctor says it's a miracle I can even stand up at all! Well, congratulations on the speedy recovery, Frank. 
Now I believe it's your turn next, Sheldon. My prolonged assistance with Ultron's plot for world domination has prevented me from seeing my wife Cheryl and our newborn son, Timothy. Here is a photo. Aww. He has your eyes. That's a very beautiful family you have there, Sheldon. Okay, next up... The gig's up, Pop Shovin. I'm a brittle pelvic bone! 